Hi, and welcome back. In this section, we're talking all about working with release management. So what will you learn? Well, basically we're gonna go through and we're gonna show you how you go about creating a new release definition. And then we're gonna show you how you link your build or your artifacts to that release definition so it has something to actually release. We're gonna show you what to deploy as part of the deployment process, the releasing. We're gonna show you how you can use variables in your release definitions. We're gonna show you continuous delivery. So how can we make this a automated continuous process? That's really what we're trying to accomplish here with release management. And lastly, we're gonna talk about release policies. So various policies that we're gonna to have to put in place in order for us to be able to do the release. In this particular video, we're gonna show you how you go about authoring a new release definition. So what will you learn? We're gonna very simply dive into creating a new release definition. There's not a lot here. Uh, it's very straightforward to create a release definition. So I'm gonna show you how we do that. Uh, you create a new release definition in VSTS by selecting a template and then naming your environments. So you'll have at least one environment when you create a release definition. You obviously have to release it to somewhere that are the environments. And so you will have an environment and you can name that environment whatever you care to. Uh, after you select your template, um, you're ready to go. It's pretty much now you got to start building out the template. So the process of creating a release definition is pretty straightforward. We're gonna dive into a video and show you how we do that in the demo environment. But from now on, we're gonna work with that particular release definition we start to author here. So let's go into the demo environment and show you how you go about just spinning up a new release definition in VSTS. Okay, so we're here in our demo environment. I've accessed my project, Mercury Health. And you'll notice up here in the middle of the screen, we have the build and release menu item. I'm gonna go down and click on the releases. This is gonna take me into the release definition screen where all my release definitions are gonna be listed as well as all of the uh, releases that have gone in the various states that they're in, which we'll talk about later. So right now we wanna look at the um, new release definition. So what we're gonna do is go up to the little plus up here and go create release definition. I also have the option to import one. So that gets interesting here. If I already have a release definition in another project and I wanna move it over into this project, I much, very much could, as long as I do an export out of that one, I can import it into this one. Because at the end of the day, these release definitions, just like build definitions, are nothing more than JSON files. So they're pretty easy to move around. Uh, we're gonna go create new definition here and it basically this is how you're gonna spin one up. You Come over here and select a template. Now you can use an empty process template and basically add all the steps that you're going to want to use. Or you can start with one of these templates that it gives you out of the box. You can see there's quite a few here. So let's just go through a list of these. For example, we have an app service deployment. These are your web apps and API apps that you have running in Azure. Uh, you'll notice here we have some Node.js or PHP. Uh, IIS website and SQL database deployment. So I'm deploying to my IIS environment. I want to be able to do that. I can use that template to get started. It'll give me the steps that I need uh, to, to start off deploying that way. Uh, and then you can see here we have some other ones, app service deployment with slots. And that's more of, slots are great for when you're wanting to, and we'll talk about slots later on in this course, but deployment slots are really interesting to work with because they help you with zero downtime. And just another, you know, you go through here, there's a few more different ones available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually select an app service deployment. And I'm going to apply that. And then it's going to ask me for my environment name. Like I said, we have to name our environment. We're going to have at least one environment and I'm going to be the owner of that. And that looks good there. And so now we actually have a phase. There's a couple things we have to do. We have to set this up, but I'm not gonna do that right now. We're gonna come back and we're gonna look at all this. Uh, the reason I can't save it is because there's some steps inside of my dev environment that I have to actually put some information into. So as we go through the course, we're gonna go ahead and build out this release definition all the way out to releasing it. 
So for now though, this is pretty straightforward. This is how we're gonna go about creating a release definition. Just very simple, uh, go in, pick a template, create your definition, name your environment. It's that simple and that gets us started.